Gentlemen, Drew Schroeder here, and in this video, we're going to be talking about the five myths of picking up women. Have you ever heard something that made complete sense? You might not have done it before, but 100%, it just made so much sense to you. And then later, you find out that you were just dead wrong about it the whole time. Of course you have. But that's fine, because... We're always trying to learn and improve here on the Drew Dating channel. <laughs> so in this video, I'm gonna share with you five of the biggest fallacies out in the pickup artist community. Also, after this video, you can go to the description down below, click on the link, it goes to uh, an article on my website where you'll find two also equally as important and game-killing myths that I put that aren't on my video. All right, I'm gonna start this off really quick. Number one is ridiculously peacocking. I know a lot of people are gonna be hating me for this, but peacocking doesn't really help your game that much unless you do it the right way. Wearing something really ridiculous can really be a big game killer. In fact, it can hurt your chances more than it actually helps. Why is this? It's because when you wear something really funny looking, uh, it's very overly qualifying. And the more you qualify, the more the girl can disqualify you, and it can pretty much backfire in your face. You don't need to be throwing a chair through a window to get noticed. Now, it's really easy for you to wear a funny hat to help you stand out from the crowd, but that makes it also easy for a girl to say, I don't like that, especially if it's completely ridiculously looking. And just because you get a lot of compliments saying that they like your hat or whatever your article of clothing that you're wearing, a guy or girl, it doesn't necessarily mean that they actually like your hat. And it doesn't necessarily mean that it's actually good for game either. Number two, going to forums for free advice. Now don't get me wrong, there are good ways and bad ways to find actually practical free advice. But when it comes to forums, you gotta sort through a lot of BS to get to the good stuff. And it's really hard to distinguish, especially when you're first starting out, which advice is good and which advice is bad. Guys on the forums couldn't pick up a girl if she was anorexic. Oh! If you want practical good advice, then try subscribing to someone or following someone that gets the results you want and isn't afraid to show it. Number three, fucking social circle game is cheating? Come on. Because the whole fact that I've been called a cheater because I get, I'm get i a club promoter and I get like free tables and shit. Is it easier? Yes. But it's about working smarter, not harder. Look. I'm into this to get laid, and I'm assuming you are too. So why don't you make it easier for yourself and start learning social circle game? Because unless you have a pair of tits, it's hard enough, don't you think? Quaaludes are cheating. Roofies are cheating. Rape is cheating. That's wrong. But building your social circle? Come on, that's not cheating. People outside of pickup are doing the exact same thing. That's how everyone should live their life, is always trying to expand their social circle. Number four, pheromones. I used to believe in this junk. Do we have them? We don't know yet. No one has definitively identified a human pheromone. Of course, pheromones do exist in other species, and they aren't just for mating, but also to communicate a variety of different things. So next time you see an ad on Pornhub, just disregard it because all of that is literally just marketing. Number five, I'm an introvert. Boy oh boy is this tossed around and treated like it's a disease. The terms introvert, extrovert, and ambivert were actually coined by Carl Jung. And it was to describe an attitude of someone, not to put a label on anyone. Jung even stated, that we all have an introvert and extrovert side to us. It's just simply one is just more dominant than the other. If you were to take the Myers-Briggs type indicator test, then you could find out which trait is more dominant. 
Rather, if you're an introvert or an extrovert, that doesn't really define who you really are. So don't let that limiting belief of being an introvert get in your way. Do you have any pickup artist myths that you feel need to be busted? Leave it in the comment section down below. Also, hit like and subscribe because it really helps me out. And thanks for watching. Guys, I'm the pickup artist. Wait, that's a very specific form. Is it easier? Yes. But it's about working harder. Wait, it's not about working harder. <laughs> Three simple sprays of this pheromone will get you laid.